And lastly, um, you should really consider the type of manager that you like to work with. So managers uh, will be responsible for, for many things, including uh, the, that support piece, as I mentioned. Uh, as the saying goes, people don't quit jobs, they quit managers. And it's not a secret that they'll play uh, a large part um, and a large role in your job and your career. Uh, they'll determine if you're hired, promoted, laid off. They'll determine the types of projects that you work on. Um, and overall, they kind of set the bar in terms of culture. They lead by example. But if we really think about our day to day and how this looks, you know, why do I mention them so late? And, and the reason is that you know most of the time, probably ninety percent of your time, will be spent not with the design team, but working within your squad. So you'll be supporting the engineering team. You'll be working very closely with the product manager, uh, maybe another researcher. Uh, but you'll kind of be a little bit more on this area on the left, um, as opposed to you know spending a lot of time with the design team on the right. And and and, and you know um, one way you can think about what type of manager you want is based on their background. So maybe if you're in really interested in folks who are design managers. Um, You'll probably think about like, well, wh which apps have they spent their hours staring at? You know, is it Photoshop? Is it Sketch? Is it Figma? Uh, you know, if you're new to design, you might really want to work with somebody who can show you those design ropes. Uh, you know, really getting into the nitty of the, the nitty gritty of the craft uh, beyond just like the tools themselves, like really imparting some solid knowledge of how to approach design problems, how to think about process. Um, on the other hand, um, you might be also hesitant to work with design managers who come from a nine design back non-design background. So maybe somebody who, instead of uh, staring at Figma, uh, stares at Codal all, uh, all day. Uh, and I will say that regardless of their background, the reality is that many of the roles and responsibilities of management um, itself like really overlap. And you know, once folks do get at that manager level, uh, craft really doesn't figure so much into their responsibilities. It's really kind of like the things that you're seeing here that folks are responsible for, which is either uh, building a design team um, or building a team in general, if it's a smaller company, uh, think about how to establish certain processes um, and really kind of uh, working to, um, I would say, improve cross-collaboration skills across a team, across multiple squads. And that's really kind of like the, the driver of a manager. You know, the common example out there is managers are multipliers, um, not just additive to the team. And you might say, okay, well, this is all um, well and good, but like, what, what else should I know about? And just to kind of like drive the point home, uh, believe it or not, sometimes excellent individual contributor designers can also be uh, not great managers. You know, it's a very different skill set. Um, so with that said, like, what, what do you take away from this? Or like, how should you really, uh, what are those qualities that you should look for in the manager? And I would say this one's a little bit tricky. You know, it's not so much of a question that you ask them or you kind of like, you know, really understand how they work based on like what they've done in the past. It's not something that you'll see in their LinkedIn profile. Um, I would say it's, I would actually argue that it's something to do with their personality. Uh, and I think this is even more important than their background. So can you, some of the questions I, I would ask, uh, you know, yourselves when you are kind of talking with this person is like, can you get along with them? Does it feel like they can support you and it feels like they, they can have your back? And again, this is something that's, um, you know, something a little bit, I would say, fuzzy and a little bit hard to get. Um, but it is something that you should definitely listen closely to with your gut. Um, so think about, definitely think about the types of ideal characteristics that you would want your manager to, manager to have. Uh, but also make sure to weigh in on their personality. Uh, because again, ultimately, even though you might not be necessarily working uh, with this person day to day, uh, they will ultimately have a lot of influence. And I think it definitely helps to have um, a manager who does uh, can help you, can support you, and if you and it feels like y'all are on the same page.